Howdy all, this is Shane and we're here to check out the Donna Black Arts Delay Pedal. I wanted to try one of these out for quite some time. It sounds absolutely sweet. It's got about every delay you could possibly want in there and it also has a loop function as well. We'll get to the loop function right at the end of the video and we're going to play around with the different stock settings that are in here. I'll show you how to save one as well along the way and it's got about every type of tweakable parameter you would like for each of the effects. This video could take forever so I'm going to just play around with a few of the effects and show you how that can sound with one or two different settings and take it from there. A huge thanks to Donna Deal for sending this out. I absolutely appreciate that. You can check out the website here. All links will also be in the description below. Let's go. All right, let's kick this off. I'm playing my Fender Strat loaded with Zex coil pickups into my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier on clean. And this is the clean tone. Very cool. Now with the pedal on, on analog delay mode. Now if you'd like it more prominent in the mix, simply turn up the mix control and we can also tap tempo it, make it a little quicker. Now if you want more repeats, simply turn up the repeat control and this works on all the effects. So it just keeps going now. The next one is Tube Echo, I really like this one. And let's start it off on clean so that we'll turn the tweak control down. Now if we bring up the tweak control, the repeats are going to get dirty. So you'll hear a clean signal, but the repeats that are coming back will get dirty. Alright, so the next one is Tape Echo. I really like this one and I've just set the tab tempo nice and fast. Let's have a listen to this. Now if that's too bright, you can simply turn the tweak control down. Very cool. Alright, the next one is slapback and I've set up a nice fast slapback sound. It's only got like two repeats on there. Okay, over to a quite prominent digital delay mode now. Here we go. Slow it down a little bit. We can use the manual control over here or we can tap tempo. Alright, 
let's turn up the tone control and turn up the repeats and get a little crazy here with this digital delay tone. <laughs> that's the funny thing about delay when you hit one wrong note you get it back a million times but that's kind of how it sounds it's really sweet and as you notice when i turned off the pedal the effect stopped so you can have it um also tail off when you turn it off so if you basically hit a note turn it off the effect stops right there's also this tail mode here where it keeps going so you can go Turn it off and then it's just going to trail out and you can play over the top without any delay. So that's kind of cool, bit of a different vibe there. Okay, over to mod delay now, let's give this a shot. If we turn the tweak up, we're going to bring in the modulation which can get kind of seasick if you have too much of it. Let's try this. It starts sounding like the notes are out of tune. It's got nothing to do with my tuning on the guitar. Alright, over to multi-head delay now. This is quite crazy. Let's try this. And as we bring the tweak knob in, you're gonna get more basically sections where it's ping-ponging, or not ping-ponging, but tapping. Over to standard delay now, let's try this. It gives you right back what you give to the guitar, it sounds great. Over to ping pong delay now, this ideally would work best with two amplifiers and the delay sort of ping pongs between both, so it's like a stereo effect. Like I said, I'm running into one amplifier right now, so it still works, just won't have that stereo split.
go ahead and turn the mix and the repeats up so you're going to hear a lot more of it now. <laughs> This next one is called pan delay, which works best with two amplifiers. In mono, it sounds like a section of it is being cut because it's actually pulsing between two. It still works though. Okay, number 11 is the reverse delay. I really like this one. Let's turn the mix right down. cool let's go ahead and turn the repeats down might turn the mix up which the uh, tweak up sorry which is the brightness maybe tap tempo something here all right let's turn up the time turn up the mix That's all of the effects at a glance. You can absolutely customize these until your heart's content and then you can save them as well. So we're gonna do that as an example right now. Let's set up one and save it. Let's get one that sounds great for my style of music. So probably the analog delay, which will be the one that I like. Right, let's go ahead, turn the mix down a little bit. To, uh, maybe the repeats are about right. All right, so if we hit save, we can go into position one, hit save. Hit on. And it won't matter if the controls are moved and all that kind of stuff. When you see the preset one on screen, that's exactly as it was when we hit save. And then we can also tap tempo it from here too. All right, let's take a look at the loop function. And it doesn't matter where you have the, the actual controls for this. So let's go down and get into the loop function just by holding down the tap button. Now, the best way to do this is to start with your volume control on your guitar down. And you can't actually control the playback volume. So it's best to start um, with your guitar down because as you create more layers, the overall volume raises. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. The pedal's actually on a chair in front of me, so I'm gonna have to use my my right foot, which is really awkward. So bear with me if it looks a little bit uncoordinated. So now we're playing back. Thank you. 
So you get the idea, if you start with your volume low, you can then build it up. You can't actually affect the volume in any way on the uh, playback. It's just whatever you put in, it gives you back. So always start with your volume control a lot lower than where I started with it. But that's just a, a quick example and an awkward example of trying to touch the pedal with my foot when it's about two feet in front of me on a chair. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the pedal or the demo, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's a really sweet sounding pedal and it also runs on nine volt at the back. There's a battery compartment right at the back or you can run it on a conventional bus power supply or visual sound power supply, anything nine volt, regular pedals it'll work fine. For what you get inside this pedal, it's an absolute bargain. I would have no hesitations in using this on my board. I may actually do that down on the track because some of these delay sounds are spot on for what I like. And having a tap tempo function on a delay pedal, I kind of think it's almost essential. If you've just got analog delay, you don't really need it. But if you're using the digital delays, then you're absolutely uh, gonna be at home with a tap tempo function. It's really sweet. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video if you can, and I'll speak to you soon. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.